everybody I'm back so I'm gonna start off with the NYX Hunting Do Me Up primer and this is also a serum but I really like it because it makes my face really dewy without ever making me super oily which is really really nice so I'm gonna go in with painterly paint pot and prime my eyes just like I normally do but you can use whatever primer works for you I just like this one because it lasts all day for me and then I'm going to go in with the NYX Contour Palette, and I'm going to use that shade right there. And that's basically just to set my eyes, so that way they don't crease. That's one really good tip to do with your eyes, even if you're using concealer, go ahead and set them. That way they don't crease throughout the day, and it lasts so much longer. I'm going to go in with the Tartelette Palette in Bloom, and I'm going to use that shade right there. And I'm going to, I know it got kind of cut off of the screen, I was kind of sitting down really low, <laughs> so don't mind that, but I'm using that shade in my crease, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out and just make it nice and neat. So now I'm going into the Swamp Queen palette, and I'm using the bronzer color in there, and this is basically just to warm up the overall look of our eyes, because we are going to be adding a nice warm toned gold to our eyes as well so I'm going to be using that to kind of warm everything up and then I'm going to go back into the Tartelette palette and use that shade right there and basically do this and blend this like on the outer corners of my eyes just to kind of give it more dimension and more depth in it and it's not just warm colors and then I'm going to go back into the Carly by Bell palette and use that color right there that I told you was the gold color and I'm going to foil it, so I'm going to wet my brush first. I'm just using a toner, um, but you can use water if you want to or Fix Plus. But I'm using that all over my eyelid, and then I'm just going to do it like I showed you. And then I'm going to also put a little bit of this other highlighter just right there where I'm showing you. And that's just to make it, the eyes pop a little bit more. Um, I did go back in and blend out the lines, so you can do that as well. Um, and then I'm using these eyelashes, the Ardell Wispies, and I'm just putting those on. So now I'm doing my foundation, and I'm using the Makeup Forever Foundation Stick in 117, and just using it all over my face for my foundation. I really love this foundation. I think it's one of my favorites, and I think I'm going to do a favorites video on it, but and it's one of my favorites. It covers everything so well and blends very easily and it's just really nice foundation I love it so now I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me concealer in fair to conceal my under eyes and also brighten up anywhere I normally would I'm gonna use that right underneath my eyes on my nose my cupid's bow my chin and my forehead and blend that out like I normally do So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to go ahead and use the Airspun powder. I've used it before in multiple videos. I didn't actually take a clip of it this time. I don't know why I didn't. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just set it with that powder and then I'm also going to bake with it as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. Now my eyebrow routine has changed a little bit. Uh, I'm basically taking a shade from inside the Tartelette palette, one of the more darker brown shades, and I'm just doing the overall outline of the bottom part right there of the, not the arch, but like the 
front of my eyebrow and this is just to add a little bit more of a line so that way I can hide where there's no hair because <laughs> I do have a little bit of sparse spots up there in the front but I'm taking the Anastasia in medium eyebrow powder and I'm just using that to fill in the rest of my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the messiness that happened with my eyebrows and I'm gonna use the Dermablend Intense Powder to help bake it like I do my under eyes. I also bake my eyebrows and that'll just kinda help clean everything up and make sure it's nice and neat. And then I'm gonna go in with that banana powder from Ofra and I'm gonna go ahead and dust away the bakage that I have underneath my eyes and that'll kind of help conceal any other dark darkness with my eyes that I might have as well and keep it mattified and nice and set all day and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away the bakage underneath my eyebrows as well and do you see how much of a crisper line it leaves and nice and neat and that's why I like that trick it's really nice and I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on my top and bottom eyelashes so now I'm gonna go ahead and use those two contour colors right there to contour my face like I normally do both sides of my cheekbones the top of my forehead and my nose as well as my bottom jawline and kind of blending that down towards my neck so now I'm gonna go in with Unstoppable from Tarte and I'm gonna use that blush all over my cheekbones um, we're basically just right above where you would place the contour. I'm not going to go all the way in towards my face, otherwise it'll make my face look way too red. But I'm going to use the Glow Kit as well. I'm going to use that color right there. I believe it's called White Sand, and I'm going to use that for my highlight today. This palette, by the way, y'all, is so gorgeous. I love it. Don't mind my little face demon right there that turned into a cyst. But the glow is still beautiful. So now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in Creeper and I'm just going to go ahead and use that and outline my lips and just fill it in with the whole thing. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with that Makeup Revolution setting uh, spray not powder <laughs> that's an oil control fixing spray so I really like this one as well and that is the look complete I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you think down below and I shall see you in my next video bye